So I want to show you how you can use this app called Metagrid to set up your own uh, controller for some of the functions in Overture that uh, you gotta move your mouse around a lot or go down menus to get to or whatnot. Now I'm just touching the surface here because there's a lot you can do with this app, but I just wanted to show you just a little bit of, of what it can do. All right. Okay. So now you can see because I'm in focus on my computer in Overture that my own Overture uh, layout has popped up. Over here I've got meter. So if I push that, watch the Overture screen. Up pops an insert meter key signature. I can insert a tempo. I've got all my different... Uh, Note values, whole note, half note. See it switching on the actual Overture program itself up there. Do you guys see that? Cool. And then I can switch that over to rest, half note rest. I can make that a triplet, put a dot on it. Okay, it's all in there. Play from the beginning. Stop. And uh, also I got the uh, arrow tool, hand tool. I can zoom into an area, eraser tool, pencil tool for drawing in, you know, controller data. And then check this out. I can fit the width of my score, fit the height of my score, fit the width, fit the height. I can go back and forth as much as I want. Uh, I can zoom in a little bit more, zoom out. And uh, now watch this. I'm going to switch over to to um, my Vienna Symphonic Library. Now watch what happens when I just click over into Vienna Sonic Symphonic Library. Boom. It automatically sends that now I'm over in Vienna Symphonic Library. I can turn off the engine, save some CPU. Now, let's turn it back on. Boom, it's on. I can take off the channel view on the left, put it back on. Let me call up my Mir engine. Boom, there it is. Mm, let me take off the mixer and just see Mir completely. All right, cool. No channels, no mirror. And then back to Overture, I click over there and look, it completely changed. Let me flip my screen sharing so that we're back so you can see Overture. Okay, it automatically brought me right back in. And like I said, I'm, right now I'm on fit width. And I can go back to full size uh, score view and I can start recording. Let's see, start on a bar here. Uh, maybe I forgot to set up that key command. So here's what you do is you click edit and then you, you press the record button there. This is the easiest. I tried like five different apps, Lemur. I bought them all. Okay. And, uh, this one's really kind of the easiest. Oh, look, I never set up a keyboard shortcut for that. So you go keyboard shortcut, the enter key, boom, and done. Now, uh, click done. Now, whenever I want to record. Hey, I did that with my keyboard, hold on. Why is that not working? Set up a different key command because maybe that's like conflicting with an OS key command or something like that. But anyway, wanted to show you guys that. You can set up all these incredible uh, templates. What, what can happen is you can have like your dynamics palette here push it and then the whole screen changes and shows you all the crescendos and the pianissimo and forte and everything. And then you can be inputting in dynamic mode, right? And then switch over to accents view and then all your accents come up um, or bar lines, you know, everything comes up. So you would just want to keep like the most convenient, most popularly used stuff right here, but you can completely set this up to, you know, like open up different views and I think, and guess what? It's $4.99. It's called Metagrid. And it's like five bucks in the App Store. I believe maybe it's even used for um, Android. But if not, then at least, you know, get yourself an iPad. That's what I did. So I'm going to completely set up Overture and my Vienna Symphonic Library in here. And auto switches, like when I click over to Vienna, boom, there it is. It's, it comes right up. 
and if I click over to Overture, I'm back into this view again. So it senses which app you're in. And this is wireless, by the way. Like right now, this this iPad is, is not connected to anything. Okay, so it works over your Wi-Fi. So that's pretty hot. All right, wanted to show you guys that.